What is up, my scrubs? PG Mike here. Welcome back. Before we get started with this one, you know what we gotta do. <laughs> it's time for an investigation. Smart Mike is out. Yes, these glasses make me a scientist, investigator, detective man. I have my monocle right now. I'm staring at the clues. Why? Because a murder has occurred in Dog and Rapa V3. The second murder to be exact. And so we're starting this investigation. I did not expect this person to die. And also, I just want to thank you for smashing like because you did smash 30k likes, right? Right? Are we gonna have problems? I have- I have a special pair of glasses for when I get angry. You don't want to see them. So, Ryoma just died. And Maki over here saying she doesn't want to investigate. Why? Yeah, wait, Maki! I tried to stop her, but Maki didn't even turn around and kept walking. The nerve of this girl! What was that? The freak is that you- Problem? She's seriously not gonna investigate? That seems rather irresponsible. She's like- she likely assumed someone else will take care of it, and I suppose she isn't wrong. Yes, she, we, she will do it, I'm sure. Well, why would she say that now? She participated in Rontaro's investigation, although I suppose Maki has been acting strange lately. I've been told she spends all day in her lab. What is she doing in there? Jeez. Well, I'll have a talk with her with Maki later. For now, we should start investigating. What are you gonna do, Kaito? I'm seriously pissed. We gotta do this, but it's our only chance to survive. Right? I'll do my very best. Okay. All right, well, this is the part of the episode where I, I, I figure out who did this. Who did this and why did they do it? First of all, all right, I had the glasses on, so this makes me 10 times smarter. I may not be a detective myself, but I think it's safe to say that he didn't do it. <laughs> he didn't do it. Maybe her, though. Let's pay attention to what we do know. Gonta went up there. He looked down. He saw something. Now, there's two possibilities. Yes. Either Ryoma was already in the fish tank, which I don't know why he would be, because if he was, he would have already been eaten by the piranhas. So... That's very, very unlikely, but you never know in this game, right? Right? Can we all agree? Can we all agree that we you know, never know? The second thing is Ryoma was already in the fish tank all along. But why? And I repeat, why in the world would Himiku not notice his body? And if she really didn't notice his body, why is it only when the piranhas came out is when the body was found? She pretended like she saw nothing. So, she's a prime suspect. We could say Gantz is a suspect, but... Come on, don't jump to conclusions now. There's no way he's a suspect. Why? Because the game has already established that Ryoma was way faster than Gonta, and Gonta could not catch him at all. So that's why he didn't do it. He couldn't catch him even anyway. Honestly, because she hates men, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Tenko. I'm gonna guess Angie. Her and her Atua. She was so she really wanted to get this whole thing going, right? I think she's- I think she's it. After all, I don't know any more motives. And what sucks too is the fish ate the evidence. <laughs> uh, so this is gonna be a weird investigation. Ryoma was murdered during a certain little magical girl show, right? Yeah? So I think we need to be a little more suspicious of that little magical girl. Yes. Yeah, obviously. We, we have to question her. But she's so suspicious that it seems not suspicious. Exactly. Why, wow, Kokichi, I agree. I I concur. Right? But then again, she's made herself look not suspicious. So now she's super suspicious. Hey, Dude, that's how like every Dungarapa goes every episode. Jeez, shut up already. How dare you toy with Himiko's pure heart? Tenko was going all crazy over Himiko as well. Maybe she could have done it. She's a she's a low suspect right now. You just said Himiko, didn't you? But I never mentioned her name. You gotta be kidding me! Ah, shut up, shut up. Himiko would never do something like that. I... I know her best, right, Himiko? No. Oh, she's like, you don't. And yeah, like, Himiko was acting weird, but it's just too obvious that she didn't. This is the part where you agree with anyway. me. Anyway. Can you at least tell us the trick behind the Underwater Escape Act? Because... If we know how the trick works, we could try to figure out who the culprit killed. It's impossible. That's not possible. Huh? Wait, wait, let me guess. The magician doesn't reveal the code or it's something. magic. There's no trick to the Underwater Escape because it's my magic. <laughs> how long is that donkey lift midget going to keep... <laughs> um... Uh, I'm starting to like Mio's roasts. Himiko, in order for us to find the culprit, it's fine to see why we need we need your help. My answer won't change, so no matter what you say, there's no trick to my magic, because it's magic. Seriously? Come How on. long are you gonna keep that bull crap up? Listen, if we don't catch the culprit, we're That's already. enough! If Himiko says it's magic, then it's magic! Then there's flying elephants too! Mm -hmm. I'll use my Neo Aikido to obliterate any degenerate male who bullies Himiko. What? I'm not bullying her, it's her fault that she's being so stubborn. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it's fine. If you don't want to tell us, I'll just find out myself. Right? Actually, that sounds pretty fun. To solve this mystery, we must first learn the trick behind Himiko's underwater escape back. She's really not going to tell us, is she? We must do it. We have no choice in the matter. It's only everyone's lives on the line. That's all. What do you want, Kaito? Huh? I mean... Before we start the investigation, there's something I gotta tell all you. Right. I killed him. You're my sidekick from now on. Huh? Your sidekick? No. I'm more of a scientist kind of guy, so I'm not really cut out for investigations. Plus, the only stage fit for a, a Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars, is the universe itself. <laughs> so I'll leave the details to you. Pave them. Pave the path for my success. But... But I don't know what to do as a sidekick. Don't, don't worry about it. I'll just make the tough calls. You gotta do what I say. <laughs> he loves to make decisions on his own, doesn't he? I mean... So... Leave it to me! I'll take full responsibility since you're my sidekick. There's nothing to worry about. Got it. Uh, let's get started. First, we gotta check the Monica file. Uh, okay. Yeah, right. Obviously. Come on. Alright, here we go. Monica... Monica file. That's not what it's called at all. Monokuma file! The ultimate tennis pro. The body was discovered in the gym. The cause of death was drowning. His body was consumed by piranhas until only bones remained. So the killer threw them in there because they knew the evidence would be destroyed. So the only thing we have left is the handcuffs. No other injuries can be confirmed at this time. There's less written here than before. I've got a bad feeling about huh. this. The time of death isn't written here. Remember. The previous Monokuma file indicated the time of death. That must be too, uh, that must be the most important part then. Did Monokuma mess up? No, no this was intentional. Monokuma told, Monokuma told us that he wouldn't give us any information that would reveal the culprit. But Thinking about it that way, it implies the information would be damaging evidence for the culprit. Ah. So that means the key to this case is the time of death. Ha, there you go, I knew I picked a good sidekick. There's one more thing in the Monokuma file that catches my eye. Oh yes, Ryoma's cause of death. It says drowning, but if that's the case, we might be able to unravel the case from there. I, of course, I've already, I already knew these things. Doesn't matter. All right, let's start with the pile of bones. Poor, poor soul. Did you guys really need to break the glass? Everything's soaked now. But well, if we had left Ryoma's body there, we wouldn't be able to investigate. That's right. I guess it would taken. I guess it would have taken way too long to just empty the whole tank with a bucket. Okay. There was a lot of cleanup, but at least we can investigate the tank now. There might be a clue around here. I should take a closer look. Got it. Yeah, you're right. Because we broke the glass, there isn't much anything left of the tank, but I should investigate the area thoroughly. There's bound to be something. Imagine how traumatizing that must be. Wait, why is there clo- why is this clothes there? Isn't that weird? Wouldn't the piranhas have ate those clothes? I didn't see the moment it happened, so I can't believe it. I'm certain okay. of it. It's Ryoma. Everyone watching the show witnessed it. We saw Ryoma become nothing but bones. And there was an announcement, so there's definitely a dead person. There's no, that's not a debate. I can't believe he died in such a gruesome way. Well. The water filled with blood so fast we didn't see the whole thing, thankfully. But his skeleton is unmistakably Ryoma's. I know he wanted to die, but he didn't actually have to go and do it. No. No, I don't think that's right, Kaito. He wasn't trying to die. He said as much. He did. He gave hints to say that he actually wanted to live. So maybe whoever killed him knew that there was a time where he said he didn't want to live. Maybe and just maybe that's why they do, they did it. They, so they can maybe say that he did it himself or something. All right, let's check out his belongings. Ryoma's belongings are all gathered together. His clothes, his monopad, the key to his room. Uh. That's it. If we just use the key, we can investigate his room. What's in his room to investigate? Remember. The motive video. We should find out whose videos Ryoma had. <clears throat> then you think Ryoma was killed because of that video? No. I can't say for certain, but we should check just in case. Although, he may have had my video. If that were the case, I might be the suspect. Oh crap, yeah, I didn't think of that. <clears throat> we must do it for science! Okay, what about the bucket of fish? Gonta said he picked up all the piranhas and put them here. I can't believe Gonta would do that with his bare hands. Oh wait, yes I can. <laughs> when I think about Ryoma is inside their stomachs, I don't even feel like eating them. Why would you even consider eating them in the first place? <laughs> Only the strong can survive in this world that Atua has created. Amen. The least we can do is pray for Ryoma's Ryom soul that he may enter Atua's kingdom. Can he really go there looking like this? But, but... Those piranhas sure were a, mir a miraculous mystery. Maybe Atua was behind those videos too. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh... I noticed it right as the show started. I feel like there are more piranhas today than yesterday than what we were preparing. No. More piranhas. Did they multiply overnight? There's no way they would re reproduce that fast. But, but. but compared to yesterday, the piranhas look super crammed into that tank. So someone added more piranhas. So where did the piranhas come from? The water was too murky, so I couldn't tell how many more piranhas they, there were. Maybe I was right. Maybe he actually was in the water. I took the liberty, guys, to take a screenshot. And I noticed something. It looks like there's a little more than just fish in there. I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if it's just the art. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's just the art style. But to me, it looks like 
He's in there. And this was from last episode, by the way. I was working on the thumbnail and I noticed something. So I'm just saying, it might be a possibility that he was in there. But if he was, why didn't they eat him there? That's what I don't know. No. And that would explain why he was more crammed. Either that or someone added more piranhas, somehow. All right, handcuffs. Handcuffs, why are they here? Still locked and there's a small, there's small scratches on them. The cuffs appear to be stainless steel, so not too hard to scratch. They must have been, uh, they must have been scraping against something hard or sharp. Well, you would have assumed that it was like the piranha's teeth or something, but maybe he was trying to break free of somewhere. Oh, okay, so, okay, so yeah, he asked where the handcuffs came from. That's a good point. If they weren't in the warehouse, another place that might have handcuffs would be because he's a prisoner? Ryoma's lab was- oh, we've never been in there. Ryoma's lab wasn't just for the ultimate tennis pro, but also for the ultimate prisoner. There was a door or a room that we investigated before, but he wasn't- he wouldn't let us go in. Well. We couldn't go in, is basically it. So that's what we have to go look at. Yeah, we really need to investigate this, can we? What is this? That is. It is the control panel for the lights. Uh, it allows you to raise and lower the, the baton. Mm. I see. Okay, okay. I don't know why that's important, but the curtain. Mm. Is there anything suspicious about this curtain? Right. It's been bothering me. What was that curtain for? That's... It was in order to hide the water tank. When Himiko was performing her escape, there was a close. This was closed to prevent us from seeing. Ah. Oh, that's what it is. Then it's some kind of clue. Mm. I don't believe so. I don't think. I don't see anything suspicious about it. Well, it's gotta be part of it. There's obviously some sort of trap room, uh, like this glass panel, for God's sakes. There's a square pane of glass at the bottom of the water tank? It doesn't look like a broken piece. The other fragments are far more random than this. It's nearly impossible for a broken water tank to produce such a perfect square of glass. Then what exactly is this panel? It's a hidden- it's a hidden room. Obviously, she's a magician. She doesn't know actual magic. When I stood on stage, I looked up and the prana tank was directly overhead. It was set up so that the bottom would open when the timer had reached zero. The bottom is open now and the tank is empty. It doesn't look as though it had a lid. I could see the ceiling straight through. Wait a minute. I have an idea. And only the front side of the glass... Uh, okay, so, so only the front is made of glass and the rest is made out of wood. So the prana tank had no lid. That's gonna be really important, I can see. And only the front was made out of glass. Hey, so the tank was from Himiko's research lab. Ah. Wait, hey Kaito, you helped carry supplies for the show, right? Got it. Yeah, meet Kibo, Hibiko, and Angie. Oh no, don't... It better not be... Is it Angie? But I just helped carry it. I wonder how they hung from there. You no. Know, it was a heavy tank full of water and piranhas. It couldn't have been easy to lift. Is... It seems this is where the lighting baton for the gym is attached. Ah, ah Kurumi. It's the control panel on the side of the stage allows for you to raise and lower the baton. It seems they lowered the baton, attached the piranha tank to it, then raised it again. I never knew lighting batons were sturdy enough to lift a tank like that. that. Is correct. Since it was built to lift heavy objects, it is probably quite sturdy. Alright! Yeah, closed curtain. What's behind this curtain? Isn't it the window that goes to the freaking uh, pool? Oh, so it's too high up to reach. Even higher than the piranha tank. Higher than the piranha tank. Yeah, obviously someone poured... Poured something in there, whether it was be it was Ryoma or if it was more piranhas. Yeah. That's right, there was a ladder next to the stage, so I'll go get it. Kaito quickly hit it off to the stage, or he returned quickly with the ladder. Okay. But you know, shouldn't the sidekick be the one bringing the ladder? Thank you. Yeah, I suppose so. Thank you. <laughs> After setting up the ladder, we went up. I'm pretty sure that's gonna go to the gym, if the I remember right. This. And if you open the curtain, oh, the window is open. I was right. If the window's open, does that mean the culprit used it? The culprit may have gone in and out through this window. So what's on the other side of the window? I can't see much, but I think it's the pool. A pool, huh? I heard we had one here somewhere. All right, let's check it out later. The culprit probably went through there. Oh, wait. What is this? Hmm? What's up? Ooh, what'd you find? Nothing. It just looks like marks on the window frame. Yeah, that's very important. Marks on the window frame. The window frame has distinct abrasions, perhaps scratched by something. Handcuffs? Might be related to the case, I should remember it. Okay. I climbed down from the ladder to the stage. Hey! You done investigating the window? Then I'll put the ladder back. Okay. That would be great, thank you, Kaito. Jeez. Shouldn't the sidekick be doing this? He complained, but he still put the ladder back for me. I've investigated everything I wanted to on the stage. We all done? Let's go. Okay. All right, Himiko, spill the beans. Mm -hmm. Himiko, if it's all right, are you ready to talk about the underwater escape trick? We need to understand how your trick works if we're going to solve this mystery. What are you saying? There's no trick to my underwater escape. Shut up. Come on, You're man. still saying that? Do you understand the situation we're in? Stop it. No matter how much you guys threaten me, my answer won't change. It was magic. Huh? But I'll protect okay, you. Okay, your time's up. The Q&A session is now over. <laughs> Unless you want to feel the full volcanic wrath of my Neo Aikido. Jeez. Man, this guard is more strict than the security at idol events. 
How would he know? All right, I want to know, Angie. Come on, Angie, talk. I wanted to ask you some questions about the stage. I... I was in charge of all the arts, and I even built the painted and painted the stage. Yeah. Then do you know anything about Himiko's trick, how it works, perhaps? No. Nope. I don't know the trick. Himiko only said it was magic. I see. I suppose she didn't tell Angie the secret either. Uh, By the um... way, you asked other people to help you with the preparations, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, we started the prep work yesterday. Lots of people helped out. Like when we were moving the heavy tank and the stairs from Himiko's research lab. Yeah. Me and Kibo helped with that. The tank had a pulley because it was so huge, it was a, it was a lot of work. Right, right. I asked Kirumi to sew the curtains because uh, I hate sewing, so Kirumi helped too. Thanks. So basically it was all thanks to Atua that the show was a success. Yeah. No, it's because of all of us. <laughs> was it really a success? Uh, By the um, way, were you were the piranhas your idea? Yes. On its own, the underwater escape act is no different from a normal magic show. So divine! I thought it would make the show more exciting and divine. So she... It's her idea that they wanted to use piranhas? Very fishy. It is, isn't it? That's oh. what Atua told me. Well, did Atua... Did Atua tell you to wipe your butt? Is, does he? And about the piranha tank and the timer. Those were from Himiko's lab, correct? Of course, of yeah, course! Yeah, yeah, according to the piranha tank's manual, it synced up with the timer. When the timer goes off, the bottom of the piranha tank will open automatically. I see, that means for most of the equipment came from Himiko's lab. And then... And right when we finished the prep work, we were about to take a break. Yeah! Gonsu captured us, so we couldn't rehearse at all. Wait a minute. Oh my god. That entire time, What's-Her-Face was gone. Yeah, she never- she was the only one missing. But why her? Why would she do that? Alright, if we have a uh, tier list of suspects, she is on uh, S tier. Maki is definitely S tier right now. She was gone. She has, she has no alibi. Literally none. Everyone else does, as far as I know. When Gonzo let us go, it was already nighttime, so we couldn't go back to the gym. You know. That's right, you can't enter the gym at nighttime. Yeah. But you can't enter the gym at nighttime, but can you enter the swimming pool? You can't touch the water at night. So at nighttime, they did they never went into the gym. They just opened the window and threw Ryoma or something or more fish or something. No, I I, I actually do believe it. I, I believe that they threw Ryoma in the piranha tank, but something caused them to not eat him. Don't know why though. Himiko and I were waiting for the gym to open. I was so relieved the set was intact. So no one could have snuck into the gym before those two got here. Ah. What's up, Shu what's up, Shuichi? Are you worried because of this confusing incident? But Don't uh, worry, it'll be fine. Uh, what? Atua has A spoken. You have nothing to worry about. Huh? Nothing to worry no, about. No. Nothing could escape Atua's sight, not even the culprit. Yeah. Atua is truly a divine force to be reckoned with. And she's starting to sound more and more creepy. Yeah, that's that's what I think. I don't know who else we need to talk to. And it's just like so it, it's just so convenient how she just left as soon as the investigation started, right? It's like she, it's almost like she doesn't want to be questioned. You were helping set up the show, right, Kimrumi? Did you hear anything about the trick? Not a great... I did not hear a word. Furthermore, my help consisted of sewing the banner and the curtains. So I do not know the details of our well. trick. I see. Hmm, interesting indeed. Gonzo, what's wrong? When Piranhas attacked Ryoma, if Gonzo had dived into the tank, then Gonzo could help Ryoma. But Gonzo got scared, too scared to do anything. Gonta, sorry, idiot. Gonzo, really sorry. Come on. A man, man. shouldn't apologize so easily. And even if you had jumped in, they would have eaten you too. That's true. From what I read in the Monokuma file, you could have saved him anyway. Or you couldn't have saved him anyway, Gonzo. <gasps> Yeah, that's because he was already dead. Gonta not really understand it. Gonta not smart enough to be helpful. Dumbass. What are you talking about? If you've got time to apologize, you've got time to read the file. If you think that can help, if you think you can't help, then work till you can. That's what you got to do. You're right. That's right, Gonta. You're a huge help. There's some information that only you know, after all. Huh? In information only Gonta knows. Remember. Remember during the show, you went up to the stage. That was about 20 seconds before the piranhas dropped, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Gonta worry about Himiko. Could it be? Did you see inside the tank? Did you see Himiko or Ryoma? No. no. Gonta see no no one in tank. Gonta kind of surprised. That's because, yeah. So if he saw no one in the tank, either he comes out of this trap door that was somehow in this tank or up there. But when the piranhas were dropped and the curtains opened, Ryoma was in the tank, right? Um, That's right. So... so when did Ryoma get in here? You didn't see it happen? Oh. Gonta don't know. Everyone see Ryoma and Tank when piranhas drop in. After that, sorry, sorry, Gonta should have watched Tank better. Dumbass. Like I said, a man shouldn't apologize so easily. Um, You're right. You know, but this is a problem. Now I'm even more stumped. Even if Himiko's disappearing was part of the underwater escape act, how did Ryoma get into the tank? Was that part of Himiko's trick? I'm positive that mystery will be important. Obviously. So the culprit knew of Himiko's trick and made use of it. Yes. 
If that's true, did Himiko tell someone? Since the shell was used, we must investigate the trick as well. Kyo murmured almost to himself, then walked back to, to the back of the stage. Is there anything to investigate backstage? Um. Let's follow him. We should investigate the entire area anyway. We follow Kyo backstage. Oh my god! Dude, this is a big deal! Puddle? What? There's a puddle behind the staircase. This isn't a puddle from when we broke the tank. The floor around is completely dry. Perhaps someone who was wet was here doing something. Changing wet clothes? But... But... How would you get from the water tank to this place behind the staircase? Could it be... This may be a vital clue for understanding the underwater escape trick. This is how Himiko got out, I'm assuming. This is a pretty long rope. What was this used for? Hmm. I estimate it... I estimate it to be roughly 65 feet in length. Huh? You can tell just by looking but at of it? Of course. I am well versed in ropes. I'm a rope guy. I'm your rope guy. I once visited a village where their use was commonplace. When it was a time for me to leave, the women of the village all begged me to stay. I find that deeply disturbing, but I have to focus on this investigation. I'm not sure if I understand. I think that just flew over my head. Oh! Korekio! Korekio! How do you say his name? Korekio! Kio! I. Korekio! I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a second. If you don't get it, don't worry about it. Uh, there's nothing strange about this from behind other than the large sides. It's a normal tank. All sides of the tank seem to be made of a special type of glass. I see no hidden doors. Very mysterious. How I wonder did Himiko escape from the tank? That's right. Well, if we figured that out easily, it wouldn't be a magic However, trick. I believe that if we figured out the, ro the route Himiko took, we will discover how Ryoma got in there. That's true. There's a high probability that they used the same route. To reveal how Ryoma got into the tank, I need to reveal how Himiko managed to get out of it. Okay, staircase. Oh, I can see that some places on the side of it are wet. I have investigated just about everything to do with the, st the stage. I still don't know how the trick was performed. Hey, so... How long do you get to investigate here? We still gotta find the culprit, you know? Come on, let's go. Uh, wait, Kaito. My first command to my new sidekick Listen is up. investigate everywhere. I, I know. Wait, Kaito didn't attend the show? That's well, pretty important. That's... No, but I'm not suspicious. I forgot a promise, so I was just eating breakfast. I forgot he wasn't there. You got it? I'm not suspicious. Oh, I do not understand how that explanation is supposed to convince me. Kibo does have a point. No, that's my bro. He wouldn't do that. Hey, Flimwad. <laughs> There's something I need, a, you, need you to tell me. It's not very polite would ask. You know. It's got nothing to do with the incident, but I heard Gonta captured you guys last night. <laughs> Heck was all that about? I was running around, so I got no clue what happened. Oh, she's trying to establish her alibi. Okay, so I didn't even think that she was. Oh, yeah, she was. There was actually a lot of people that weren't there, huh? Dang. So she is a suspect, too. Got it. Oh, yeah, tell me, too. I was also running, so I didn't know what went on. How did Miyu escape from Gonza? She's not strong enough to fight him. Why, you? Chop, chop, you slimy crap. Oh, wait, didn't he say uh, something about her, like, her woman? Something, something. She did something. I don't know what she did, though. Well, I suppose you could say that Gonza was tricked into kidnapping us. The first ones to get captured were Kibo, Kiyo, Sumugi, Tenko, and I. Himeko and Angie were brought in later uh, from the gym, right? Okay. Exactly. Kokichi left the room around 9 p.m. So they must have been brought in about five minutes before if that. I remember correctly. We were all forced to participate in Gonta's inspect meet and greet. We were freed about an hour into nighttime around 11 p.m. I see. So from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., everyone there had an alibi. And then those people without an alibi are me, Kirumi, Maki, and Ryoma. <laughs> I see, you've learned what an alibi is thanks to the previous incidents. But what the freak is this insect meet and greet bullcrap? By the way, Miyu, how were you able to get away from Gonta? What? Oh, um, well... Um, I uh, had to use my secret woman weapon and just leave it at that. Huh? Secret woman weapon? What's a secret... He doesn't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't exactly know what she's talking about either. Man. Should we should just leave her be? Listening to her will just tire you you're out. Right. You're probably You're probably right. Perhaps it's better just to get to the... the Get the truth at the class trial. So obviously yeah. we're gonna go to the rooms and stuff. All right, let's go. All right, first place. First place we're gonna be going is the pool. Oh, wait, we're already here though. We actually do need to search Himiko's lab. I don't know if it'll let us go here first though. Oh, yeah, it will. So this is Himiko's research lab. What are we gonna investigate again? Hmm. The trick that Himiko used in her magic show. I need to figure out how it works. You know. So you say that, What? but what if it was real magic with no tricks or mechanisms? That's... Well, that would be a problem. But it's not just about the trick. I need to ask the guy some questions. Hey, Shuichi, did you want to ask me something? Okay. I'll tell you anything you want to know. You are my favorite after all. When he says that, it sounds like he means the opposite. It makes me hey. nervous. I do, actually. It's about when we were kidnapped by Gonta yesterday. You snuck into our rooms to steal our motive videos, right? But is that all you were doing? You came back pretty late. I see. I see. You want to know my alibi for nighttime yesterday. That is right. He did say he was going to come back at 9 and then he, like, didn't come back. 
The gym is off limits during nighttime, so Ryoma was probably killed before or after. Which makes nighttime yesterday so suspicious, since everyone was doing their own thing. Right. So what were you doing? Um, It'd be easier if I just explained step by step what happened while I was out last night. After you regained consciousness, Shuichi, Gonta brought Himiko and Angie. That was about 5 minutes before 9pm. Right after that, I left Gonta's lab and headed toward the dorms. I thought I'd be back in an hour at the start of nighttime, but something happened. Huh? What? Hmm. Right when I got to the entrance hall, K uh, Kirumi spotted me. That was right after I left Gonta's lab, so it was right around 9 p.m. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. Then she started criticizing my behavior and lecturing me on my manners and relationships. Hmm. Can you believe that? I mean, who does this? Does she think she's my mom or something? If I remember correctly. Didn't you ask Kirumi to be your mom earlier? That's so she mean. just kept talking, but <laughs> so she actually took it seriously? Then finally let me go at 10 when nighttime rolled around. Would she really do that though? Huh? Whole hour? <laughs> well, only the first half was a lecture, then we played tag for the other half. She was starting to bore me, so I turned around to leave and then. Please wait. Stop right there. Our conversation is not over yet. I don't gotta listen to you. You're not worthy of lecturing the ultimate supreme leader. Come on, Miss Me. Catch me if you can. That is. Is that a request? What? Ooh. Oh no. I just had a. If she would really do anything, anything, someone asked her, then she could have very well been the culprit. Because someone asked her to do it. Which would be stupid. I would be, I'm actually gonna be mad if that's it. But I'm not gonna rule that out. Someone could have just asked her to kill Ryoma or do something to, that would kill him, you know? To frame her? And then I guess Kirumi decided to take tag super seriously. I tried my best, but in the end, she caught me around uh, 10. Then she started lecturing me again and then let me go when nighttime started. So... so, do your alibi still hold up even when she was chasing you around? Maybe. We ran into each other a bunch of times, so yeah, they should hold up. I'll ask her. So, from 10 to 11, he doesn't have an alibi. Ah. Oh, yeah, I did see something odd while Kirumi was lecturing huh? me. What? Yeah. I saw a half naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. That's. that is important. <laughs> it was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. I wonder who it was. What? Uh, we need to investigate further. For research purposes. By the way, you didn't get captured by Gonta yesterday, did you, Kaito? Where were you? I was running around the whole time. I hid in bathroom, bedrooms, all over the school. Mm. I see. That's not very convincing, but okay. Alright, Samugi. What are you doing here, Samugi? Well, I'm investigating. I know I'm plain, but it's plain to see I'm investigating. Uh, okay. Is that so? Hey, so? So did you find anything? <sighs> I'm still thinking about that. Mm. I don't think you can uncover clues just by thinking about them. No. No, in fact, I still haven't found anything. Yeah. Then get to it. Looking around is how you find clues. But I think leaving the bad guy alone is just plain bad. Or that guy. Not bad guy. Although he's a bad guy. So I've decided to plainly keep an eye on him. That way, even plain old me can help out. Good for you, Samugi. Good for you. It's a huge water tank. It looks like the one that was used in the show. Okay, so Himiko said that that was a backup. Then, then perhaps if we investigate this tank, we can learn the secret of its trick. Hmm, what's this? There's a segment of the tank near the top that opens up, but why is, does it open up here? Oh wait, perhaps it isn't random. This segment had to open up here. Oh. Is that in the back of the tank? Because if that's true, then that's how they got out, and that's why it's wet. All right, it's letting us leave. That means that we don't need to look at anything else. All right, we gotta check out Ryoma's room, guys. So where's this video? I don't see it sitting anywhere. Maybe he put it on the bookcase? Oh, someone stole it, didn't they? Man, that's weird, I can't find it anywhere. I see, we can't find it, that's all right. That's a clue in itself. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. See, if we suppose the motive video for the crime was the video, there's a high possibility that Ryoma had the culprit's motive video. Remember. If their motive video was left at the scene, they would be immediately suspicious. But wouldn't that make- that would actually make freaking what's his Kokichi super suspicious. Because he had his hands on all of the motive videos. And second, he's kind of suspicious too because he was- he said he was hiding everywhere. He said rooms, everything. So what if he saw someone's video? You know what they say, right? Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. And he's looking pretty close right now. But yeah, it doesn't make it doesn't make sense either though, because Shuichi's the one that had his motive video. By the way, I was thinking. I mean Maybe we all should have watched those motive videos after uh, all. What? Nah. They showed the most important people to us, right? That's yes. right. Maybe he's, maybe he's gonna feel guilty for not telling him, because now we're bros, you know? So maybe we should have watched them, without looking away from the truth. I mean... At the time, I agreed with Kiwo, but after thinking about it, I changed my mind. Right. 
And if we're worried about watching them alone, we could have watched them together. Uh, um, watch them together. Yeah, we could have gathered uh, together and watched all the videos, share everyone's motives. Even if it's something you can't bear by yourself, it'll be impossible with everyone. Yeah. That's what cooperation is, right? Uh, That's what Kokichi was trying uh, to do. Hey. Kokichi was trying to get us to participate in a motive video of viewing party of sorts. That's why he forced us to the same room. Hmm. Do you think that that was his way of cooperating? Do you think the same way? Uh, nah. If that's what he wanted, he could have just asked us. Geez. That's what a normal person would have done, but the thing is, he's not normal. That's right. Maybe he did want to cooperate, but there's no way he there's no way he would for sure. He'd never tell us. That's true, it's impossible to know what Kokichi is thinking. But I suppose he could have been acting in our favor for once. Alright, well. As far as I know, the last place that we need to check out is the swimming pool. Wait, wait, what's in the pool? Was that there before? Inner tube? Inner tube? That's extremely important. Oh my god, I know exactly what happened. He was drowned in this pool beforehand. He probably got stuffed in the inner tube and just drowned. Look, there's something else in the water. And the rules stated that you can't touch the water. But he, if he was on top of this inner tube, maybe he was placed there somehow. If he was placed on the inner tube, he wouldn't be touching the water. Rise and shine, sign. Oh, here they come. Don't look at us. I don't like water, I prefer juice. We get heavier when our cotton absorbs water. It makes losing weight a nightmare. I want to play in the water with everyone. It sounds fun. Ah. You know, Monty Down might be onto something. I kind of will go to the pool now. Oh, yeah, who cares about losing weight? You stupid. Idiots, we're not here to play. We're here to smack these bills. Oh, the <laughs> Idiots, we're not here to play. We're here to smack these bastards in the pits of hell. We're the Monocubs, the meanest, nastiest, cruelest mascots around. Dumbass. If you don't get it, I'll throw you into the pool myself. Ah. Please don't. Monosuke, please stop. We can't we all get along? What? You're saying if we don't get along, it'll end up like a motto kid? So long. All right, well, that was completely the point. They only exist to waste time. That's it. So if it was one of us that put the inner tube there, not the monocubs, well, it doesn't matter. The inner tube probably isn't related to this case. It, it, what are you talking about? Of course it is. It wasn't there before. Why is there a rope tied to it? What could that be used for? That's intriguing. So someone can pull it? Yes, look. Bits of fabric. Black. Why is it black? It looks like a little piece of uh, fabric. Please. It's just trash, right? Nothing to be worried about. No. We're looking for the corporate. We don't have time to pick up trash. Oh, okay. Yes, but perhaps it's just my intuition, but it does bother me. It should... I should learn to trust it sometimes. My intuition as the ultimate detective. I know. I know. I trust mine. So who's wearing black clothes? Or like someone wrapped... I got a feeling that he was wrapped in something. And that had something to do with why he wasn't killed. By the piranhas. Wait, oh, wait, we're looking inside. Wait, what is that? Air pump. Okay. There doesn't seem to be anything else worth inspecting. No jumping into the pool, especially at nighttime. Whoa. Whoa, where'd you come from? I mean, jumping yeah. itself is fine. If you want to jump in front of a car or a train, that's on you. No, no, no. But the no. pool is off limits at nighttime. See, no swimming at nighttime. That's... That would be a violation, hey, right? Um... If anyone violates a school regulation, a campus-wide siren would blare. <laughs> and then the person will be ripped apart by the exosols. What? You'd go that far? Well, so far, the siren hasn't gone off, so no one's needed to be ripped apart. Yet. Um. Since that's the case, can we assume no one was in the gym or pool at nighttime? Oh, yeah. Well, at very least, no one is alive. Or no one alive. No, they were here. They just weren't touching the water. Also, it's interesting that they, uh, there is, uh, dimensions of the pool. It actually explains exactly how wide the pool is. And what's his face already. Oh my god. <laughs> What's his face uh, said how good he was with ropes and he knew exactly how long this rope was So it's a little weird that they those happen to line up and he happens to know so now he is a tier I would say he's a good a tier You know, maybe even s tier on the suspect list And he kind of looks unimportant e either way. So I feel like he's gonna die So I'm thinking it's really probably that dude now. He likes straw ropes. He loves ropes interesting I mean, just look at his mask. That guy's evil. So that's pretty high up. You wouldn't be able to reach it just with the ladder. I agree, okay. the ladder only barely reached the window and it was on the stage. Hmm. If that's the case, then it might have been hard for someone to have gone, okay. gone there. Yeah, you might be right. So does this pool really have anything to do with the case? We got all psyched up about it, but it doesn't seem like there's any clues but... here. Well, the inner tube is still bothering me. I still don't know what it tells us, but I feel like it's related. But you know. But you know if the inner tube is related to the case, the culprit is pretty careless. I'm pretty sure I'm like at least like... 70% right about what I've said so far. If it wasn't related to the case, why would they have cleaned it up? So... Just leaving it sitting out like that, uh, don't you think it's straight up careless? No. 
No, even if they wanted to put it away, they couldn't. There, there's no pole or anything around here so that you could use to get the inner tube. Remember, the water level is so low you couldn't get, uh, grab the tube, even if you did manage to bring it closer. Then why just jump and fish it out by hand? Oh, oh yeah, they couldn't. So it's safe to say no. that the murder definitely took place uh, around the time where they weren't allowed to be in the pool. But if he drowns, then he was drowned before the time then. Ah, uh, I don't know. He was drowned before. I just don't know. Yeah. He was drowned and then he was kept there. That's all I could say. He, uh, Kokichi also mentioned the half-naked girl or something like that. Maybe there's a swimsuit. They talked about swimsuits. Maybe we can go check Maki's room? It's still weird that she's not even trying to leave. Oh, what the heck? She came out. What are you doing here? Um, earlier you said you weren't going to help to investigate. Were you serious about so that? What? You'll be fine, even if I don't help, right? You're the detective, not me. Or do you think you can solve this- Or you can't solve this case on your uh, own? Um, that's completely different. This is- <laughs> That's pretty darn harsh, but my sidekick is working his butt off! Huh? Sidekick? Got it. <laughs> Should we use my sidekick now? Shouldn't it be the other way around? So... The dumb one. I'm more of a scientist type of guy, so this doesn't really- uh, This isn't- This isn't really my thing. Well... Wouldn't being a scientist be really helpful for an investigation? No. More importantly, why have you been here this whole time? Is there a reason? My guide, no. Why do you care? No. Because it's been bothering me. You've been here ever since this room opened up. Almost as if you're keeping watch and making sure no one else enters. Is this an interrogation? No. No, that's not what I'm trying to do. I just wanted you to talk to me. It has nothing to do with the case. Please tell me so. It's true that you don't have to help us if you don't want to. Is that alright? But you should at least cooperate with our investigation. Because. because all of our lives are on the line. That's so. Even if I did cooperate, I wouldn't be any help. Mostly because I've been here for the last several days. I've only gone back to my dorm at night to shower, including last night. Hey. Then can I ask you this? Did you see Gonta at all last night? Gonta was searching around the grounds last night trying to capture us all. Why? How were you able to avoid being caught? I see. Gonta did stop by, but I managed to chase him off somehow. All I did was tell him, if you lay a hand on me, you'll choke to death on your own tongue. That's all. Hmm. So Gonta scared- so Gonta got scared off by that? Well, I guess he wouldn't hold back against a girl. Or he would. As I listened to her testimony, a question grew in my mind. Why did Monkey not want to leave so badly? You're wasting your time talking to me. I don't know anything. Ah. Okay, I'm done here. Huh? You are? That's right. Her alibi is a little shaky, but I don't think she killed Ryoma. That's what my instincts are telling me. Hey, so- But if you remember anything- oh, he was- he's like a little kid. He was like just- just as small as a little kid, so maybe? <laughs> yeah, it's still not- we don't know for sure if that was the case. All right, what do you got? Hiromi, why are you here? We all agreed to investigate with at least one other person present, yes? As she spoke, she glanced towards Maki. Hmm. So you're staying with Maki. Got it. That's good thinking. Hey, once we're done with the trial, can I get a massage? May I? But of course, since you were here, Shuichi, may I ask you a question? The time of death was not provided, so I'm questioning everyone in order to determine what it. What do you think? What was the last time you saw Ryoma alive? Uh, right um, before I was kidnapped by Gonta yesterday, around 6 in the evening. The last time I saw him was way before then. I didn't see him at all yesterday, actually. Then you were fine, Kaito. What's important is the last time someone witnessed him alive. Hey! The last time someone witnessed Ryoma alive. Gonta was the last one to see him alive around 8 p.m. yesterday. Ryoma managed to avoid being captured by him. Yes, yes. So Ryoma was still running around after I got captured. So how did he get captured by another person? Furthermore, 30 minutes earlier, Miyumi saw Ryoma as she was fleeing from Gonta. Hmm. In that case, Gonta's testimony is highly credible. Yes. At least we know that Ryoma was alive uh, around 8. Oh, I forgot. We have to investigate his tennis room. Yeah, there's this shower room. What's in, What's over there? Yeah, we did not go in here. There's handcuffs right there. This feels like more- This feels more like an ultimate prisoner's lab. Hey, so Do you think it was made that way on purpose? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I think they did. <sighs> Jeez, Monokuma's got bad taste. Well, we already knew that. So this is probably the main thing. Look, Kaido, handcuffs! Oh, they look like the ones in the tank, or wait, they are the same. Oh I think so. Here, look. Look, the empty hook, the handcuffs were found. They must have hung there. That means the culprit was definitely here. So they somehow used that to capture him. Well, Miyu was in here with him before, but I don't think it was her. Also, she was wandering around. Close the window. Yeah, why is it not blocked? Could it be? Oh my god! This goes to the gym? Yes, I forgot about that window. Or the, the pool? Huh. Huh. So it's possible he was thrown from his window on an inner tube or something like that. The window you can see from the pool is the window to Ryoma's lab. So that's why they wouldn't let us in here. That makes sense. Third floor is high up, but if they aimed well, they could reach the pool. But Monokuma said you can't go in the pool at nighttime, right? Wait a minute. So Monokuma specified no one, no one that was alive. So if he was already dead, 
then being thrown in the pool wouldn't be a problem, is what they're saying. Which means it's possible that a dead body was in the gym or the pool at nighttime. You know. So there's a chance Ryoma was carried to the gym after he was killed. But you know, there's no point carrying his body here if you can't even get in. I don't know if it's safe to say there was no point. Wait a second, what's this? Huh? Hey, so look, there's weird scratches on the window frame. That's from that's yeah, it's from the rope. It's not from his handcuffs, it's from his rope. I don't know how they would leave marks like that, but I'm pretty sure it's a rope. Okay, there's a sink. This is a pretty big stone sink. One could fill it up with a lot of water. Hmm. Wait, what's this? Hmm. Scratches on the stone. Oh my gosh, so he was drowned in the sink! Drowned in the sink, thrown in the pool. It's all come together. That's clearly signs of a struggle! And that's the scratches, that's the scratches on the handcuffs, yes. We came here to confirm my suspicion about the handcuffs found in the tank, but we found even more important clues than I expected. Together with the fact that this is Ryoma's own lab, there are too many points of concern to be more evidence. It must be important evidence. Hey! Mere evidence. It seems like you figured something out. You seem more confident. Alright! Alright, then on to the next place. There's no point staying okay. here. Okay, isn't- that's it, isn't it? So where should we go? Whoa! Oh, he fell. As he came out of the shower room, he tripped and fell to the ground. Hold up. Tripped on some That's... balls. Oh wait, rope. A metal rope. A cable. Ah. That would definitely cause a scratch on the on the metal. That would make more sense. So this is for the tennis net. Man, whoever left this here, there was yeah, it's missing the tennis net. That's what was different. So Ryoma maybe was wrapped in the tennis net. But then if that was true, then where did the tennis net go? after he was dropped in the water, or the rope for the tennis net, or something. The reason I thought the broom felt off is because of the net. Someone took the wire out of it. Hey Kaito, can you help me? I want to measure how long this cable is. Uh, it's just about 50 feet long. What? Oh, I was in the tennis club till middle school, so I know how long the cable is. You were in the tennis club? That's right. That's why. It pissed me off so much that Ryoma was acting like that. Hey. Did you know Ryoma from before? Ah. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him, or so you know. No. I mean, these days, there's no one who's played tennis that hasn't heard of him. He's been a tennis legend since middle school. He was like a hero to every tennis kid. Jeez. And then once I finally got to meet him, he became a coward. That pissed me off so much, I ended up being too hard on him. Damn. But regretting that now won't help. There's nothing I can do. So what's suspicious about the length of the cable? Well, it's suspicious that you know so much about all this. Nothing specific, I was just checking. Hmm, hmm. so detectives get bothered by small details, huh? <laughs> like an overbearing mother-in-law nitpicking a young wife. Uh, um... What is that analogy? Ooh, ding dong, bing bong! You know that, you know what time it is, guys. Already tired of investigating? Oh, you've been tired of it for a while now? Well, that's how it goes. Investigations aren't all that fun, you see. But it's a necessary step before we can move on to the main event. Kind of like searching the internet for that perfect boo video. Yeah, uh, nope. In fact, nope. <laughs> some people think the search is the best part. Weird, huh? Anyway, the class trial is starting soon. Please gather at the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. Okay. <laughs> See you later! Looks like it's time, bro! Uh, yeah! Oh, I can't wait to see what weird- Is it gonna change? Are they gonna change the room again? Or is it gonna stay the same? Don't worry, you can do it! I believe in you! Believe in me? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaito? There's a chance that I'm the co- I believe in you because I want to! Do I need a reason other than that? Huh? Listen up! Isn't that why you believe in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but I if I you. worry about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. Shuichi, we're still young. I can't die before I've had my first drink or gone to space. Let's do if it. you're not going to get yourself in gear now, then that's now is all you've got. Yeah, yeah that's Kaito, right. I know. Keep your chin up. That's the expression I wanted to see. <laughs> that's my sidekick. He's right. I just have to do it. I just have to believe in myself. I, the more time we spend with him, the more I think that it's possible that he is the killer, just because we're spending time with him. Because it's gonna want us to really tug at our heartstrings when he dies, you know what I mean? Oh, what the heck? I don't want to live. I want to die with everyone else. No, I want to live! I want to live a long life, I don't want to die! I can't die in a place like this, never! Yes, we have that ninja way now. Alright, before we end this episode, we gotta take a look, what does the class trial grounds look like? Actually guys, I'm gonna end it right here, I know I said I wanted to see the class uh, grounds, but I'll save the surprise for next episode guys, you know what to do, smash like if you enjoyed, 
and subscribe for more Danganronpa and more stuff because I don't just just do Danganronpa. Don't forget to leave your theories down below and do not post spoilers for people. People cannot help themselves. I still can't read my comment section because of spoilers. That's why I want to finish this game. Then I can finally read the comment section. But please, please be courteous. Do not just blatantly spoil it for people. I will never understand people that do that, okay? But either way, smash like and we'll get another episode, alright? With that being said, love you guys. Thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.